up you guys, welcome back, it's Dylan, and from last week to this week, YouTube decided to do something kind of stupid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that, I'm not gonna say more because I don't feel like getting red flagged by them. They changed their monetization program, I still have no idea how it works because they sent this email saying you have 30 days to reach 40,000 hours or something like that, which is some crazy number. Luckily, your boy did not get that email. Ooh, ooh. Oh, honestly, I was kind of relieved, but more I was thankful in a way because I had no idea I had racked up that many minutes or hours in watch time. And honestly, I just wanted to thank anyone who watches my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I enjoy making videos. I have fun doing them. It's almost like a therapeutic kind of thing to me in a way. So if you are subscribed and like this video, I really, really appreciate it. And monetization, it's not a big thing to me, but it's almost like a reward in a way for putting in hard work to my videos. And the money that I do get, I put it back into creating content for YouTube. Like I buy DIY stuff. And if you have noticed, I am using some new lighting right now that I had just bought. I am so happy with it. I, I mean, you better be happy with it too because I'm gonna be using a lot of it. So yeah, honestly, just thank you so much whoever watched my videos and is subscribed. Now that I said that whole spiel there, let's get into the video part. So if you read the title, yes, I'm doing a BuzzFeed worth it inspired kind of video. If I said it was not inspired by BuzzFeed, that would be the biggest lie told this year. But I wanted to do something a little bit different with it. I want to put the focus back onto menswear, specifically men's jeans. So before I get into the whole nitty gritty part of the video, be sure to go subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up, and be sure to go hit that bell notification so you get notified. I am trying to post videos every Tuesday. It seems like Tuesday or Wednesdays are going to be the days now. I'm confirming it. So yeah, well, let's get into it. So if you watch BuzzFeed worth the videos, you know that they compare three different things at three drastically different prices. This is going to apply to this video as well, so I'm going to be comparing three different jeans at three different prices, and what I'm going to be looking at is more of like the wear, the wash, the overall fit of the jeans, and like whether I've liked them over time, things like that. So the three brands are going to be Abercrombie, Levi's, and Hudson Jeans. They all vary, like I think they're a good representation of the denim out there right now. The first pair of jeans are going to be these Abercrombie ones right here, right here. <laughs> so. These ones, I actually, first of all, I wanted to use American Eagle for this video, but for some reason, American Eagle decided to become almost expensive. Not almost, they became expensive. Like, the jeans there are $100 now. Like, kid you not, and ironically, Abercrombie is the cheaper brand out there for denim at the moment. So, yeah, these ones I got on sale for $30. Regular price, I think, was like 50 though, but they constantly have really good deals on their denim. They go on sale all the time. So that's why I'm using these ones. So these ones right here, I got in at 33, 32. They are the Rustic Athletic Slim, which is almost like a slim straight, if I'm gonna call it like it is, more towards uh, straight fit though. So these ones right here, as we all know, with like the cheaper denim brands, they tend to put more spandex in them. I think, I personally think that's just for, I don't know, to accommodate the general mass, but also I think it's a little bit cheaper. So these ones out of all three pairs of jeans has the most spandex. It's 95% cotton and then 5% elastic or spandex. I probably could have gone down to a 32, 32, just because I find after wearing them for like 20 minutes or like kind of stretching in them after 20 minutes, it becomes a little bit looser. And I think I've noticed really with these ones, the, you notice a looseness in the pocket or like crotch area, because when you sit down, you get like a big bunch of extra fabric, which is, really unflattering I find. It kind of ruins a pair of jeans for me to be totally honest. But uh, on the plus side, I will say that aside from the front crotch area, they do they are really comfortable. Now, a lot of denim brands make this mistake of, I mean, it's not really a mistake, it's more like a style thing, but they can't really control where the rips are. And so since I'm 6'3", uh, they line up with my knees, but after wearing them for like a couple times, the rip got really big and it was just a little annoying in that way. Also too, after washing them, uh, they did go right back to the shape that they were. The problem is that when they stretch and go back like all of that, you tend to wash them more, which is, it actually decreases the life of the denim. So that's a little annoying with these ones. But otherwise the wash, uh, after washing them as well, held up. So um, I would probably give these, to be totally honest, maybe like a seven out of 10 if I was supposed to rate it. They're not bad, but they're not super great either. But for $30, you can't really complain. So yeah. So moving on, the second pair. So first of all, these are the Levi's Line 8, which I never heard of before. I don't think a lot of people have. It's the unisex line that they 
made not too long ago, and I am like all for unisex things, but the problem that they tend to have, especially for me, is that because I'm a larger person, they don't really make unisex things that way. They usually make unisex for like the scrawnier woman and the scrawnier man, and so it's not that much of a crossover. But I think they did a really good job, especially considering it's unisex. It fits really great, it's a high rise. There are definitely a lot more pros than there are cons with this pair of denim. Uh, the one thing I will say, the problem with a lot of men's pants or denim when it comes to a high rise is that they don't really consider the crotch area, like right here. You don't want to have like that camel toe kind of situation going on. But these ones, I really found they never gave me that. And the way I would describe the fit of these ones is that they're almost closer to, I mean, they're pretty much a slim fit, but the bottom kind of flares out just a little bit, so they're not super, super skinny all through. When it came to me washing them because they stretched out, really, that wasn't a problem because these ones are 99% cotton with 1% spandex. And surprisingly, with only 1% spandex, they actually were really comfortable and they kind of gave out just a little bit. So when I washed them, I found there wasn't like that much of like a difference in like them being too skinny or like going back to the shape that they were. They were just kind of overall comfortable. So out of 10, I would probably give this one, like honestly, maybe like nine, eight and a half around that. So yeah. Okay, and the final and very last pair are the Hudson jeans, which are the most expensive out of the, the three pairs. So these ones right here are, I believe $200. So these ones right here are the Byron five pocket straight fit. Um, again, I would, it's pretty true to its name with it being a straight fit. Uh, but you know what, it's a nice straight fit though, it doesn't just like drown your body, it actually kind of flatters it a little bit more I would say, especially like in the butt area. Now with these ones you really do notice, I mean with some jeans you're like oh my god that doesn't feel like the money that I'm paying for it at all, especially when you get raw denim where it's really stiff. But with these ones right here from the moment I got them to after washing them, they've been so comfortable, really soft, they're almost like sweatpants to be totally honest, that's how soft and like buttery they are. <laughs> they are really really comfortable in that aspect so you do notice it and surprisingly there's only 2% spandex and 98% cotton which I thought there was going to be some sort of blend in there because these just feel so soft but I guess it's just the way they've woven the cotton and things like that. Um, so there are a few problems that I do have with the jeans though. The first one the inside pocket right here every I'm pretty sure every men's pair of jeans has that double pocket these ones, they didn't make the, the exposed part right here, they didn't make it deep enough. So depending on how you walk or if you like you're kind of reaching in, you do see the lining of the pocket, which is a little annoying and I expected a little bit more considering the price you're paying. And then also too, I found it didn't really stretch out that much. It kind of held the shape really, really well. I will give it that. And I've only washed these, I think, three, two to three times. And honestly, with uh, denim, they don't really encourage you to wash it because it makes the lifetime last longer. And then also, in comparison to all the other jeans, these are the only ones that have the button fasteners, which I actually really, really love because it guarantees that you're not gonna have like that embarrassing moment where your fly's down and no one tells you. So I really like it for that reason as well. And also, another thing I have to say about these jeans right here is that they only go by waist size. So these ones are at 33. Now, I'm 6'3", and uh, I found these ones were really long and I think their intention was for you to roll them up uh, But if you're a smaller or shorter person I think you'll have a problem with these ones because there is no inseam length So that is kind of a big deal breaker as well where all the other jeans do have like an inseam where I'm like a 32 So these ones were a little bit uh, Long in that aspect and I do want to cut them, but I also don't because they're $200 So it's a little bit of a deal breaker that way. Would I pay $200 for it? Probably not, and gonna be totally honest. And that is mainly just because, I mean, one, I don't have $200 to blow on a pair of jeans, but also two, I find myself more like at the cheaper to mid price area just because I like to buy a lot of jeans. So I'm kind of biased in that aspect already. I mean, overall, I would probably give it a higher score, but because the price point is so high, I do have a higher expectation, and I would probably give these maybe like, probably a seven. My opinion, probably seven. That's where I'm probably gonna sit with that. Yeah, I don't think price point really matches this, but yeah. So out of all three pairs of jeans, personally my favorite and the winner is the Levi's right here because one, the price range is really good, but also two, Levi's is a really well-known denim brand and the quality is really good on them. They do have a stiffer feel to them, which I do like, and they hold their shape up great, their higher rise, and I just know that they're gonna age really well. They've already started to age really well. Like I haven't noticed any rips in them, so definitely would recommend Levi's. So if you guys like this video, go get a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below whether you want to see more videos like this. Um, did I say subscribe? I can't remember, but subscribe anyways. Thumbs up.
bell notification, follow me on Instagram. I think that is it. Okay, see ya.